Well, we're here to install uh, a couple of faux in-brand windows into uh, this beautiful home and make it even more beautiful. Here's how I laid this project out. I took the total length of the wall and subtracted the total width of the windows. I divided that length by the number of spaces needed, resulting in a distance between the units. I was mindful that there will always be one more space than windows used. Well, as you can see, we've got the first window set. Looks great. It's a vast improvement on this home. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to move to the second one and uh, we'll walk you through the, uh, the, the setting of that one so that uh, it answers all of your insulation, window insulation questions. Well, we've, we've unboxed our window. As you can see, for shipping purposes and installation purposes, we do them in two pieces. You'll notice that we have grooves on the bottom of the top unit and we have matching biscuits on the top of the bottom unit. That holds them together, keeps them aligned, and what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to go in, we're going to mark the location of the window, and set the bottom first, and we'll let gravity be our friend. We'll set the top, catch them, and uh, uh, we'll be uh, done with our insulation. What I've done is I've made some marks on this wall. I went from the end, seven foot seven takes us to the outside of the surround, three and a half inches from that takes us to the outside of the window. Top of the window, which matches the other, which matches the front of the house, is located right there. I've taken a measurement down 48 inches because I'm gonna set the bottom section first. The bottom section will set at this height and at that line right there. This is the location for it. Once we get that in place, then we'll let, we'll set the top on, gravity will be on our side. Well, here's our second half of window. It's actually a four foot window, but since we're using half of it, it's nice and light. Once we get that in place, get it secured, then we level it up. You can see our, uh, our tape marks are up here. We've got the uh, bottom section uh, located where we want. Level is on it. It's nice and level and in place. And now what we'll do now is put our top half in place and secure it. We've got a biscuit coming out of the bottom. We have a slot to accept that biscuit in the top piece. You merely set them together, line it up, and it's ready to go. And now what we'll do We'll set our uh, pilot hole and secure it. The units are very light. It doesn't take much to secure them. We're securing these with number eight by two and a half inch screws, all pre-drilled. So it's just a matter of uh, running a pilot through your substrate, run the screw in, and uh, it's, it's done. Now what we have is the center style. The center style is pre-drilled with uh, uh, two holes for screws here at the bottom. We'll use a screwdriver and we'll set those and that'll uh, uh, attach the center style to itself. Not a lot of room here. That's why uh, we tell you to use a screwdriver because the uh, guns are just a little bit too large for this application. Well, here's the surround for this unit. Three foot in width, 48 inches in height. Uh, it's got about an eighth of an inch uh, gap. These are solid vinyl units as the windows are solid vinyl. And so uh, we've got to leave a little room for expansion and contraction. And uh, eighth of an inch does it. Uh, all pre-drilled and ready to go. We're gonna set it in place now. Got it in place, I'll pre-drill the holes. Set the uh, number eight by two and a half inch screws and uh, it'll be done. The uh, window and surround is, is secured at this point. The only thing left to do is to cover our screw heads and we can do that with a plastic cap that's glued in place or a small vinyl cover, which, which hides pretty well. 
In the last little bit, we've installed two uh, Fowin brand uh, windows, three foot wide, four foot high, double hung style with grills and surround to this home. We've added curb appeal and value to a very pretty home.